What's up guys, Everything Alpha Pro here, and today it's a beautiful autumn day. I'm out here golfing, but these golf clubs, man, they're just not cutting it anymore. So I thought to myself, what would happen if we stuck an iPhone on here and decided to golf? So at first the idea was to make a selfie stick. It's a little bit permanent though, and uh, not very functional. But then I thought, what better way to test the true limits of an iPhone than to go golfing with them. So we're gonna be using every size of the iPhone from the 3GS with the plastic back to the 4S with the glass rear, front and rear, to the 5S with the aluminum backing to the iPhone 6 with that ion strength in glass. So we're gonna see how these guys fare when used as a golf club. We're gonna batter them, hopefully get some good shots in. To anyone who says they have the most expensive golf club, well, I disagree with you. I've got mine right here and man, it's a, say about an $800 golf club now. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, do some golfing, test out the true limits of the materials on all iPhone series. All right, so this is the six. Uh, it does turn on, it's just hard to see after we applied it on here. Uh, we'll be able to take it off and see how the screen fares after, but okay. Let's uh, test out my swing here. Golfing with the iPhone six. In three, two, one. All right, so let's see what we got here. Honestly, I did not think that the impact would be that much. Like, when I golf, it never seems like it. the impact is super, super strong, but I guess I guess I was wrong. Let's see if it still boots, though. Uh, yeah, there's some screen tearing in there. So the screen still slightly works. Oh, there's some weird effects going on. Cool, <laughs> but oh my gosh. Look at that. All right, let's golf this guy now. All right, the iPhone 6 uh, didn't do very well, so it deserves a clubbing. Go. Three, two. Three, two. So, here's the damage. Look at the battery. It's still intact, although that's kind of scary. It didn't puncture. So we got the internals, easy way to take apart your phone, and oh my god, look at that. So completely demolished. I would be surprised if I plugged this thing into iTunes and it was still recognized. <laughs> let's see if the vibrate switch motor works. Nope. So uh, that's the 6. Uh, let's try the 5S. Now I gotta go, man. It's my turn to golf. I'll call you later, though. All right. Here we go, iPhone... Uh... 5S golfing. Let's test my skills. Three, two, not bad. Not bad actually. Two. So this time I managed to blow a huge chunk off of it, but does it work? Nope, no signs of life unfortunately, and I can't even power it on. <laughs> the button's missing. Good shot though, it's a pretty good shot. All right, let's try the iPhone 4S and 3GS. So my 4S over here, let's see how this guy does. It's a really thick phone and glass backing front and rear. Let's see how far we can launch this and the golf ball, but we're gonna actually record while we do this, see if we can salvage it at the end. I thought that'd be interesting to see. So uh, let's start recording in landscape. iPhone 4S and golf test. Three, two, one. So, iPhone 4S golf test. Three, two, one. One. All right, here's what happened. Look at that. The entire phone bent in. And this is a 4S bending, the thickest phone. Uh, I can't tell if it's. Oh, it is working. So the vibrate motor still works. Uh, the display is kind of freaking out, but this thing is still alive. I might be able to salvage that footage from it. Definitely still works. <laughs> oh my gosh. What an impact, man. This is definitely probably the phone I'd recommend you use for golfing. So last one, let's see how the 3GS fares. All right, so we got the 3GS. Let's see how this guy does. Two. I kind of missed. No golf expert. And the digitizer is busted. I think the phone is frozen. 
but it's still alive. I mean, that works. Just can't get the digitizer to work, and no wonder. I can see all the components in there. Oh, hey, my SIM card ejector. That's how you eject SIM cards. Cool. Last one, not so good. Not very good at golf, but we managed to effectively destroy this thing and it came on a hinge. Nothing too bad. I bet this thing would still work if I plugged everything back in. But should you golf with your phones? No, if you were to, the best phone to do it with would probably be the iPhone 4S. So should you guys use iPhones as golf clubs? Probably not. It was a good experience though. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I'd have to say if you guys absolutely had to, I mean, use the iPhone 4S. It's probably the best choice. Uh, the iPhone 5 didn't fare very well. A whole chunk got torn off. iPhone 6, man, we clubbed this thing into submission. And the iPhone 6S, you know, not this time. Next time we'll see what happens with that guy. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Enjoy some of my other videos. I like making videos like these, you know, something different once in a while. But thanks so much for watching. Peace.